Hello. It's uh, April 13th, about 4 p.m., and I'm all done cutting. Uh, we were piling some brush on the cutoff trail this morning, and and uh, we took a nice walk around. Um, and uh, then I came over here and cut like three tankfuls, and uh, it was very positive. Um, Highway 67 is above there, and, and there's a spring here that is now opened up. Uh, at least you can see where the water is collecting. And so uh, we'll try to open up that spring and get it flowing real nice this year. And uh, probably we'll continue on the north side of this uh, little spring next time. But uh, here's what we got done today. We connected uh, with the work we did uh, yesterday. We were right here yesterday. So I was chomping at the bit to come back here and, and cut some more. To, because um, the buckthorn was pretty sparse. So with relatively little cutting, uh, you could open up a big area. So that's what I did. Um, there's a, a patch of wild plum trees on the left here. And uh, I've, I've been scolded for cutting too many wild plum trees down, mistaking them for buckthorn. So I've learned my lesson and uh, I preserved this patch of wild plums and I pulled all the vines and crap out of them. So maybe they'll um, flower this, this spring and, and we'll have a, a little harvest of wild plums here. So that's what we did today. Again, there are some really nice big trees back in here. I'm going to try to get a, a glimpse of a few of them here. Well, they're across the way there in the distance, but they're really large, huge oak trees. So it's well worth the effort uh, in this area.